Hello. <gasps> I apologize for giving you a fright. I am a weary traveler searching for refuge from the bitter cold. Huh? Forgive me. Might I seek momentary rest in your humble abode? I won't need long, just a brief respite from this harsh winter air. Oh, yeah, of course. Right this way. Really, I cannot thank you enough. I know we are strangers to each other, but I know nobody else. You see, I'm not from around here. Oh, where are you from? I believe the question you should be asking is not where, but when. Uh... I'm not from around here because I am not from now. I am a time-traveling dog. I come to you from Regency-era England, the Lord's Year 1810. I've come to complete a mission I cannot divulge to anyone, not even you, my kind savior on this bitterly cold day. A time-traveling dog? Yes. You may be surprised, though my early 19th century apparel may have given me away. I'm sure it's not every day you see a dog in a top hat such as mine. <laughs> You're not wearing a top hat. I'm naked. So how do you travel through time? I didn't think that was possible. Now that I cannot tell you. As I said before, I am here on a secret mission. All I ask of you is some brief shelter, and perhaps, if you could spare it, some sustenance. Oh, of course. Um, I actually have some leftover dog food. No, sorry. <laughs> you see, in 1800s England, we didn't dine as your modern canine friends do. Your dog food could make my tummy ouchy. We ate as our human companions did. Cookies. Beautiful iced cookies. Oh, well, you're in luck, because I, I do have some cute cookies. And a spot of tea, thank you, darling. Yeah, I can give you some tea. I shall just uh, roll around on the ground here. Here you are. I cannot thank you enough. Oh, my dearest friend, I am much obliged. Oh, wow, I really like that, huh? Oh, that was simply divine. And now I shall be able to carry out my orders with a clear mind and a full belly. Sure, I'll just clean up. <laughs> a time traveling dog? How preposterous. Everyone knows dogs can't travel through time. We can only talk, foolish humans. Soon all the pretty iced cookies in the city of Chicago will be mine. <laughs> One Friday in Chicago, the city is anticipating spring and warmer weather. Lucy and Chris and Meredith were working at the planetary yawn together. What's that? Are you hearing that too? It's some kind of a signal. Yeah. According to my calculations, it's coming from outer space. <gasps> a signal from another world? Wow! Stay tuned after today's episode for a special announcement. Oh. <laughs> hey Brian, what's up? Hey, um, so I just wanted to you know, throw this at you. So I had this, I had this idea. Um, I've been gathering like this huge gigantic data set, and I was thinking like what if I could put together this machine learning model that so perfectly predicts the future that it's basically like time traveling? I mean, you know, just, just what if? Wait, <laughs> what? A, a time machine? Sorry, sorry, I had to, had to check something. Um, no, 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 not, not a time machine, but like, so a machine learning model, if you have enough data about the world and how it works, like, you know, maybe down to the atom or not even that far, but you write some computer code that can replicate it, well then you have a perfect prediction of what's going to happen in the future. 
Uh, Brian, that sounds like a really bad idea. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's cool and all, it's just, <laughs> hmm. Well, but see, once you have that model of the future, well, time, so see, time keeps going. So then you also have like this, like really exact, perfect model also of the past. Um, are you okay? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, and when I said, what if you could do that? I guess what I mean is, I already did it. You did, you, you did it? Um, okay, <laughs> look. I know you're like Dr. Mr. Super Smart Astrophysicist and everything, but that is not possible. I mean, it's, I mean, it's possible, it's possible, okay? Because like, like I did, I did it, it and, and, and like the, the fabric, fabric of reality, of reality. it's getting all turned around and it's like kind of crumbling, I think. I, and I, I, I've been seeing what looks like me, but different. And I don't know, I, th I, think, I think it's me from the future or something, like it's gotta be. Crumbling? No, 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 no. Look, there can't be multiples of you from any time. I mean, actually, Lou, I'm, I'm calling you f from the future. And, and I think that it's other me's from further in the future that were telling me to tell you that you gotta stop me because they see what's coming. You gotta stop me from making this machine learning model or you know, the reality as we know it, it is not, maybe not, may, maybe doomed. I know what you're thinking, I see it in your eyes The time machine is blinking and you theorize If you turn all the dials and knobs just right You might be a hero tonight Titanic sailed to read. You would never have known its name or used your time machine to travel back and save it from its awful icy run. If you didn't change it, it happened. It's done. You I can be a future hero. the past but quantum physics tells us don't give up so fast the, the future is a tangle that you cannot rehearse each branching path may lead you to a brand new universe one that could be better and kinder to whether we get there Never be a future hero
Chris, I love my new time travel watch and I can't wait to use it. <sighs> Send. Whoa! Hey, I'm you from five minutes in the future and I'm here to warn you. About what? Don't get up right now because if you do, you're gonna stub your toe really bad. Oh, okay, thanks. I mean like, like real bad and it's gonna hurt so bad. So how do you know this? Because five minutes ago, I was you and I told me. Excuse me? Well, I'm telling you right now and five minutes ago, I was you and I got the warning from the me that is me right now. Okay, yeah, but how did you know that I was gonna stub my toe? Cause I told me, right now. So the stubbing never actually happened? Well, yeah, because of this warning that I'm giving you, you won't stub your toe now. What if I decide to get up anyway? How do you know I'm gonna stub my toe? You won't get up anyway, I know, because I'm you and I don't. So the only reason you know that I'm gonna stub my toe is because you told yourself that you're gonna stub your toe. That's right. So what made you actually come back and tell me? Well, I already knew I'd come back and tell you because I was you and I already had this conversation with me. So, okay, this is hurting my brain. I remember saying that, but trust me, you're gonna come around. <laughs> hey, I brought chips. Why? Because, because you, you want, want chips. chips. I wasn't even thinking about chips. I know, but eat a chip and it's gonna be exactly what you want right now. I mean, yeah, I love chips. This is a nice surprise. I know, they're really hitting the spot for you right now. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm loving these chips. You guys want some? No, no, no I just had some no, five no, minutes I'm ago. I'm good from 10 minutes ago when I had some. Okay, so instead of just getting yourself chips 10 minutes from now, you decided to come back in time to have me have them earlier? Well, I knew I brought you chips because I already experienced me bringing me chips, and then I experienced me watching me bring me chips. Right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is bring the chips. But what if you don't? Well, then you wouldn't be eating chips right now. But can't you just decide right now not to bring me chips? I could, but I don't. Yeah, you definitely don't not bring chips. <laughs> but just say, <sighs> remember when we were her acting like this? <laughs> so many questions. Do you wanna be eating chips right now? Are you thankful for the chips? Yeah, I'm thankful. Listen, sometimes life is crazy <laughs> and wild and wacky and oh so spooky. But this is one of those moments when you just have to not think, you just have to act. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask questions, just eat the chips. Yeah, don't look at a gift's horse mouth. I know that phrase is wrong. Right, because I Google it when I go back to get the chips, but I'm actually not gonna tell you what the real phrase is. Right, because then I would know the right phrase from five minutes ago, and then this exchange wouldn't have happened. Right, but it did. But I can definitely tell you it's not a gift's horse mouth. Mm, these are actually the best chips. Now we're talking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I gotta go grab chips. Bye. <laughs> mm, okay, bye. Well, I guess I gotta go. I'm about to stub my toe five minutes ago. Two lost souls separated by time and space. They travel through time, but they move at different paces. One in a ship while the other is on the ground One floats away while the other is gravity bound As the days crawl by for one, for the other it sounds With time and space between among the stars and the flowers Space-time is a small town sometimes these two souls pass each other by As time changes both of them however they move And the space they choose will change time too Alright, future Brian Here's what we can do. I, I, what, whatever, whatever it is you need to do, just, let's just do it. So if I delete all your data and I also delete your code, then you can never build that machine learning model and this will never happen. All I need is your password for your computer at Fermilab. Wow, that is really invasive. I don't know if I can... 
Brian! Fine. All right. Um, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Capital O, little p, dollar sign, little t, little u with that umlaut, then a pound sign, then the word pizza, but with it, with a one instead of the i, and, and an at sign instead of the a, then the number three, and little q, then big h, and the number 79, and that's it. That's it, okay. I hope this works. Um, here we go. Good luck, future Brian. Remember, Remember me. me. <sighs> I hope that worked. Present Brian! Uh, what? Um, nothing. <laughs> Good to see you. How, uh, how was your day? <laughs> uh, well, it totally sucked, actually. Um, I was working on this awesome new machine learning project, and it looks like somebody deleted all of my stuff, data and code. Um, the weirdest thing is that it looks like I deleted it because it's from my login and everything. I don't know. Uh, wow, that sounds, uh, that sounds really tough. Maybe it's a sign you shouldn't work on that project. A sign? Uh, why would, why, why are we doing signs um, now? <laughs> nothing, nothing. All right, well, since that thing's done, you want to play some cyberpunk instead? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Our special announcement. It's been almost two years since we closed our doors, packed our things, and headed home. Talking through computers, making videos by the score, working hard not to feel so So soon comes the day it all changes It's almost the day that we welcome you back We've been working very carefully so we could arrange this I guess that I should pack Driving down to the Adler feels amazing after so long Can't wait to see my co-workers in person as I sing this song I wonder what they're doing to get ready for the day So many things to do, let's go and see right this way Our designer is working on some Explore. 